Hey guys, welcome to Inspire Chemistry and today we are doing important video on how to find your research supervisor. So in this video, I will tell you about how to find your research supervisor based upon their research work and it's very important to know about their nature and personality as well because you need to stick with them for a lot of time. Then I will tell you about the two approaches of selecting a supervisor and their related institute, namely the modern approach and the orthodox approach. And then we'll go on further to understand and learn the kind of work and visit their profiles. And finally, at the end of this video, I will give you a short video tutorial on the same. So stay there till the very last. Thank you. So in this talk, I'll tell you how to find your research supervisor. But before uh, searching for a supervisor, you need to decide your field of research. So before that, uh, I made a video on the two frontiers of chemistry, that is chemical biology and material science. So you can choose any of the two. And once you decide, let's say you decide for material chemistry, then you can go on to find your research field in the material chemistry. We have a video on that as well, and we'll uh, give you the link in the description box for both the videos. So do follow those videos and come back because this is the third phase of doing your research, finding a supervisor. Okay, so uh, I'll tell you a personal story. Publishing equal to science, no publishing means no science. This was the quote which was given to me by my uh, guide when I was doing a summer internship. So uh, actually what happens is that people think that those who publish only do research and those who don't publish do nothing actually, but that's not correct. Because you need to understand that uh, it's not that even if they're not getting a publication, it's not that they are not doing good work or not giving sufficient efforts to it. Maybe the problem is on publishing side. Maybe their kind of work is so sophisticated that it requires a lot of time to even publish a single paper. For let's just give me a, let's just give uh, give you an example for that. If you see organic chemistry. It's very, very important branch of uh, chemistry in the world. And if you see it, you know that those people who have worked in organic chemistry labs already know that's how hard it is to work in an organic chemistry lab. You need to do synthesis. You need to stand there for doing columns, all sorts of things you can imagine. And you know that it requires time to even synthesize one molecule. You may require two and a half months, three months. And then also the stability isn't enough to get it sustained. So there are a lot of challenges and you know that even if you get a good decent paper in organic, it goes to a well impact journal. So the value of the journal is very important. Maybe they, maybe the professor is publishing, let's say two or three articles in a year, but those are very important. So the quality, it's the quality of work that matters, not the number of publications. Okay. So uh, now I'll tell you about the two approaches of finding a supervisor. So first I'll tell you about the modern approach because to me it's much better because it's not just that people in Princeton or Cambridge are doing good research. There we have in, we have research in ISC and other different institutes who are equally doing good and even sometimes even better. So it's not about the place they work, it's about the level of research and the research areas, the, uh, actually the value of research, not the institute. Okay, so that's why I prefer the modern uh, approach to it. Now, the way to go is to find the most trustable sources. So I've already told you the most trustable sources are, let's say website, you go to website of nature, you go to science, you go to ACS advances, RSC, they are different journals, they are well reputated, go to them. So when you go to them, you open the site to them, They'll have uh, different research, uh, their fields like magazines, different publications, let's say accounts of chemical research, biomaterials, energy, environment, science. You can choose any of them, go to them. Then you'll see that they're giving different publication, the, the papers, articles which were published even yesterday, day before that, and even before weeks, all the publications will be there. So all of these things are there in these sites. So now you can, what you can do is that see the author's name on these uh, papers. They have their author's name, of course. So write those down and then see about uh, these authors, how they are doing in research. Okay. So what you can do is that once you've written down some several names who are very frequent in publishing to these good journals, 
you can uh, go to their google scholar sites research gate linkedin profiles there let's say you go to google scholar okay so google scholar will mention all those citation number of papers in which year it was published then they have at the very right uh, above i'll show you this in video tutorial they have this index so they have h index other indexes or as well to know about their research output so you have to see the research output to know more about them okay then they'll also uh, just be, uh, below the name of the professor they'll mention their own websites most of the research groups have their own websites okay so go to their research websites then you can uh, read about their past research their current work what are they working on currently what are their future aspects all of these things are mentioned in their websites okay so do have look at them so it's very important to read about their publications okay so i would say i would prefer to read about the most recent work not like work which was done like a decade ago read about papers who came in last five years because with a single paper in the field the things may change dramatically so it's a good idea not to go very uh, beyond uh, five years just take uh, five years paper and not even read fully just go read go about reading the abstracts of these people if you feel that i am able to read everything in this i can go on further yes you can but uh, if you read like five or six abstracts of these papers what i will suggest is that before diving into the papers look for articles like review articles on google scholar so you can read about uh, review articles uh, which were written by this professor the professor you want or somebody else there are numerous groups working on this very same field so you'll find numerous articles on google scholar okay so try reading them first once you read two or three you'll get to know what all uh, what uh, what are things you need to, what are the prerequisite knowledge you need to have okay then you go back to these papers read them thoroughly then you'll know that i need to uh, study these instrumentation or the synthesis or things they regularly do in their research i need to have a prerequisite knowledge about it okay and it's very important to read about their references all the references or the citations they give in their paper those are equally important because their work has been inspired or these are clues which they get and they then they publish okay so the citation and references are equally important so that was the first phase okay now we come uh, come to something that is equally important see uh, this video is for usually those people who are looking for their bachelor internships masters research project phd scholars okay so you need to stick with your research supervisor for a long time so you should know about his nature his personality how well he interacts with his student what uh, what kind of efforts does he give does he support you does does he give you a lot of pressure does so all sorts of things are there but you need to know all these things so what you can do is that you can uh, go to uh, other uh, people like his ex student or her ex student who have done phd or masters project under him and then try to contact them on social media okay so once you contact them on social media you have to do it for your own good don't be shy that i can't contact this person contact them learn about what does your professor like what doesn't he like how is he how much well he interacts and all these things these are equally important okay and uh, then there is something called the reverse uh, reverse way of searching research supervisors so uh, most people have this dream that i want to go to harvard i want to go to isc iit whatever whichever place i want to so then you you don't look at professor first you look at institute first and then you find the professor in that institute so this is the second approach the first approach i was uh, that i gave was to me is more generous and more important than this one because it's not the institute it's about the research supervisor mostly okay so then the final thing is you have to contact is him or her through other means try to explain why do you want to do research work under his or her lab you need to have knowledge before you contact them you have to have good profile as well and then you can go on now i'll give you a video tutorial on the same whatever i've discussed here so stay tuned till the end so this is the video tutorial and for saving your time i've already written rsc on my google search
so the first site you see is royal society of chemistry you go to this site then see for journal book and databases then you want to read and search our articles okay so here you see all the list of journals they publish chemical society reviews chemistry education dalton transaction let's do uh, let's just go to my favorite energy environment science so as you can see they will include the papers who recently came first paper published on 12 may okay then this lot of papers are there okay now you you want to see the professor's name so you can take note of this professor's name let's just go to okay his work so you can read the abstract of him of this paper now you go to the author the last one is the author okay the group's uh, professor so these are list of uh, publications he is having you can see chuanza chuanza everything will be there now you google chuanza google scholar okay so if you write google scholar the first google citation site will open so that's him correct so as you can see you will uh, this site will show, uh, show his papers which are highly cited ones new ones so cited by this is actually the index so as you can see is working 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 and this thing is increasing is improving every day that's good now you see the home page go to home page that's a site you can see a uh, professor from northwestern did a phd from northwest let's see research interests are there you can read them out professional interests are also there and these are the list of publication i want you to see because these are the most recent ones so if you like this video please hit the like button if it was really helpful for you and please do subscribe for more informative videos there's nobody else on the internet who brings such things in detail to you so please share it with your friends so they so that they can also be benefited from it and the whole purpose of making such videos that we want to make our nation a good research output country we are lacking behind from many countries and we have the potential so this video series in this regard is in this regard so stay tuned and that's all inspire chemistry